Dear children, today we are going to revise some items of grammar. Hopefully, this session will be useful. We are going to start with the post simple and the present perfect simple. Post simple, something happened and finished. And then what about the form? We have regular, we add D, E, D, I, E, D, and irregular, you have to keep the second conjugation of the verb or the second form of the verb. For example, go, went, speak, spoke, drink, drank, and so on. If you are giving um, sentences in affirmative and you are asked to put in the negative form, so you have to use it. She ate rice. She didn't eat rice. What did she eat? and so on. What about the present perfect symbol in terms of form? It consists of has, have, plus a PP. For example, I have eaten rice. Negative, I haven't eaten rice. Question, what have you eaten? And so on. So now let's start with the, the keywords of both of them. Past symbol yesterday, last ago, this, in plus old date. What I mean by this? For example, in 2019, so you have to complete using the past symbol. What about the present perfect symbol? Since, for, just, already, ever, never, yet. Now let's practice what we have said. But I would like to tell you something very important. This morning, this week, this month, you can use this item or this keyword with both of them. I mean, post simple and present perfect. But if you are given three times, ten times, or any number, three apples, for example, I have watched it this movie three times this week so you have to complete with the present perfect symbol not the past symbol let's let's start with our exercise write sentences about fred use the present perfect or the past symbol fred ever be athens if you would like to ask a question, look at ever. Ever the keyword of the present perfect, so you have to use the present perfect. So I'm gonna start. Has Fred ever been Athens? Been to Athens? Second one. Last week. Last week, this is past symbol, so you have to give me sentences in a uh, sentence in the past symbol. He went to school last week. Why, why I completed with the past symbol? Because I am giving here last. And last one word of the keywords of the past symbol. He not leave school yet. If you look at yet, this is the keyword of the present perfect. But bear in your mind that must, the sentence that comes with yet must be negative. For example, he hasn't left the school yet. Look at this one. N plus old date, 2005. So I'm going to say he got married in 2005. So to differentiate between the past simple and the present perfect, you have to keep the keywords of both of them. In addition to, if you can't see any keywords, you have to complete with the present perfect symbol. Okay, let's move to another topic of our uh, revision.
Possessive adjective and possessive pronouns. Possessive adjectives, my, your, her, their, our, my. After them, noun. So I'm going to say, this is my school. This is her skirt. This is our house, and so on. You can observe that after our, your, her, my, I can see a noun. So I'm going to complete with the possessive adjective. What if I don't have nouns after spaces? I mean, look at this one. This is, this is, and you have to complete. I'm going to complete this is hers, this is ours, this is mine, this is yours, and so on. These are called possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns after them no nouns. So you are given and you are given many exa examples here through this exercise. Bear in your mind possessive adjectives after them noun, but possessive pronouns after them no nouns. Let's start. This air hair jacket, this is hair jacket. If you use hers, this mini are gonna omit jacket. So I'm gonna say this is hers. Is there another answer? Yes. I can say that this jacket is hers. This jacket is hers. Right. We have got a car. This car is complete with the possessive pronoun. So I'm gonna say Ours. From where did I get the possessive pronoun the why ours? So because I have here the subject we. Ours is big. Ours is big. To use house, this means you are going to change the possessive pronoun to possessive adjectives. What is the possessive adjective of per ours? It's going to be ours. That's right. So I'm going to say, our house is big. Sorry, I didn't mention that we can ask about possessive adjective, possessive pronouns using whose. Whose car is it? Actually, we have many ways to answer such a question. First, I'm going to use that possessive adjective. This car is, this is my car. Second way. This is mine. Third one, this car belongs to me. And finally, this is Nagle's car, for example. Look at this one. This dress belongs to Lily. Use her. Actually, I have more than one way here. I can see this is her dress, right? I can say that this dress, this is her dress, and it's her dress. Yes, both of them right. I'm going to choose another one. Their school is great. Omit school. When you omit noun, this meaning are going to change from possessive adjective to possessive pronouns. So I'm going to omit school. So my answer, omit school and add is to change the possessive adjective to possessive pronouns. Before finishing this session, I would like to tell you something related to um, future symbol and begun to. To differentiate between them, both of them don't need keywords. No. Both of them are based on the uses. For example, future symbol, I mean well plus a verb infinitive, you need. If you would like, to, for example, to give promise, so I'm going to say, I will study English, mom, or I promise I will study English. Request. Will you 
make a cup of coffee for me, please. So this is request. Another use, offer. I will carry the bag for you. In addition to the quick decision, for example, the bell is ringing, I will answer. I'm hungry, I will make a sandwich. This is quick decision. In addition to, or as well, um, prediction. Prediction here, here means just guessing. You don't have any proofs or evidences. El Ali will win. That's it. How did you know? Just a guessing. Also, we have um, some verbs we can use with the future symbol, like bit, hope, sure, believe, think, and so on. On the other hand, when we talk about the B going to, I mean M is R going to, but in your mind, prediction, but prediction here, based on information and, and evidence. My dad is going to come tomorrow. He told me on the phone. So he told me on the phone, this is evidence or information. Also, in addition to um, prediction based on information or evidences, we have make decisions. Your decision here based on, it's not quick like this, I will drink, I will make a sandwich, no. Based on plans and arrangements. My dad is going to travel, he booked the tickets. My mom is going to make a cake. She bought flowers, eggs, batter, and so on. So you have evidence, information, arrangements, or plans. Bear in your mind, if you see one of these, it's gonna be MSR going to. Watch out, the car is going to hit you. Be careful, the dog is going to bite you. Look out, the books are going to fall. This is how to differentiate between the present symbol and MSR going to. Thank you for joining me. I wish you the best luck.